What's up, my dudes? Hey to all you custom track makers out there. Stop putting exclamation points on the front of your titles of your tracks to get them to show up at the top of the track list. <laughs> Stop doing that. That's some fuck shit, and, and everybody knows it. Like, come on now, Deco. Can't be doing that, dog. And, and this goes for some of you other guys that have done this before. Stop trying to put things in your title to get them to show up at the top of the track list. Like, don't do that, dog. If we all were that selfish and did that, then everybody's track would just be exclamation point <laughs> fucking, you know, uh, little quotation, little like, God dang, dog, parentheses, like, you know, we'd be doing all that kind of crap to try to get our titles to the top of the list. Like, come on, guys. Nobody can even make a normal title anymore on a track when you guys do that. Like, you got to understand, you, you, you need to stop doing that. But either way... On the other hand, I've always got the upper hand, okay? <laughs> Let me get in here and uh, actually do a full-blown review. We got Prairie Valley MX from Reflex on MX Simulator. Really cool. Obviously, I just made a video on a dude that made an Alive track for MX Simulator. And uh, this is obviously a Reflex track on MX Simulator. You guys know I've made two different Reflex tracks in MX Simulator as well. So I'm quite familiar with this territory right here. So... I, it's just interesting because everybody's got their own little take on a track. Everybody does it a little bit differently. Um, by the way, Deco, you putting that exclamation point in the title of your track, I'm taking off a point for that shit, dog. <laughs> you got to chill out with that, man. Come on now. That's like that's about as cheap as it gets when it comes to track making. Like, stop doing that kind of stuff, dude. Um, there's just some things, man. I swear to God, like, there's some things that track makers do in this game. It just it grinds my gears, bro. Like whenever they'll leave the make a map thing up there on the top right and they just leave it in there. They don't they don't take it out, they don't delete it. So you literally have like lettering at the top right of your screen. Make a map or they have like the default skybox on a track or they put exclamation points in the title, try to get their track to show up at the top of the list. I mean, there's just a plethora of different little it just like stupid shit that people should know better. You know what I mean? Little shit they do with their custom tracks like that that I'm not the biggest fan of. Another good one is people will go in there and make a custom track with a certain title and then literally have a completely different in-game name of the track. So you go in there and download the new track and you can't find it anywhere, especially if you have more than like 100 tracks downloaded, right? You can't find it anywhere because you got a totally different name for it in the actual game, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, just a couple of things. It's like, come on guys, we got to get better than that. I mean, it's 2019. We can't be putting exclamation points in the front of our title to try to get it to show up at the top of the list on everybody's MX Simulator track list, right? Like, come on now, dog. Uh, but either way, let's get out of these negative clouds here for a second, okay? The track itself is actually not that bad. I think that the overall scaling of it and the different sections, I'm very familiar with this track on Reflex because uh, I used to play Reflex strictly on the console for like four years straight. So as you could imagine, I would have quite a few laps in all the default motocross Reflex tracks. And uh, it's definitely one that I wrote a lot on for sure. And I mean, I think the scaling is kind of hard to get it into MX Simulator like it is in Reflex because it's just a different game like completely different game you know what I mean but I think overall the scaling and the jumps and stuff like that they're okay they might feel a little bit crampy a little bit shorter distance a little bit shorter jump distance here and there on a couple different things that I might would have thought but in the grand scheme it's not bad as far as scaling wise which is one of the most important aspects of a replica track is the scaling of it because if it doesn't even feel like the on track of that replica track then it's not even really that track you know what I'm saying like that's definitely the most important part of it is the on track and then then it gets into the off track where then you start kind of fine tuning little stuff like that but like just just the sections in general I think they might be 10 to 15 percent too like small scale too much cramp down scale I might would have thought they would have been just a little bit longer straights a little bit longer jump landing jump like this jump right here specifically I think that one's a little bit short I think that jumps maybe a little bit small right there you know that this corner doesn't sweep quite as wide as I might would have thought it would have There's a couple of things here and there a little nitpicky things but overall you'll get remembrance of the 
the uh, actual reflex track if you ride on this track you'll you pretty much can ride on the entire track on lap one if you've ever played you know this track on on the actual reflex game right because it's pretty much it's it's that similar to it that you'll know that, that you'll know every little section like that but really glad he put that little object right there I do think he's missing quite a few different objects that could have brought it to life a little bit more. Like, for instance, just a lot of the standard, uh, like, off-track where the people are standing and the banners doesn't really have any of that going on. He's missing a little bit on the whole, I mean, he's got a little overhang, little uh, banner right here type thing. But I thought there was another one way down here. Um, I think he would have been a lot better had he made it more official, like, you know how the RF tracks kind of have the banners and look more official in this game and stuff. Isn't there one of those kind of overhang deals somewhere down through here on this track on Reflex? I'm pretty sure there is. There's like one or two right through here even. There's like that whole freaking, you know what I'm talking about, that, that object on both of the dry, hard pack desert style Reflex uh, default tracks. Um, not only this one, but the other one, you know what I'm saying? Um, what is it? armadillo flats maybe is that the one i'm thinking of shit i get so confused on the names of the tracks or whatever but uh like there's a whole section like really really memorable object that like overhangs over the track right through here that is like really memorable to this track and it's just not here at all right so it's definitely more of like a plain jane version of this track as far as objects and stuff like that very very plain jane and even the ground decal itself, I mean, if I want to get really nitpicky, I think he could have went with more of a tan dirt, tanner dirt than what, th this is almost like gray, gray super light um, coloration dirt vibe going on here, and I'm pretty sure it's got more of a tan deserty type vibe to it in reflex, if I'm not mistaken, just little nitpicky things like that, right, um, this whole section right here, I mean, it get, definitely gives you the feeling of the reflex track for sure, but, and it's hard to, you know, like I've always said, it's hard to take an arcade game and then, and then, like, morph that into something that's going to work on a simulator, right? Very, very difficult to do that, um, and I'm not even saying my two reflex replica tracks were perfect because they were far from it you know what i mean i mean i think they were okay in some areas but they there were obviously a lot of areas that were really goofy filling on them and and really kind of weird scaling because it's hard to get everything perfect like i'm saying it's hard to get it all carried over exactly right but it's got a couple inside ruts through here i don't really think this is meant to be a terrain deformation track maybe it is i don't know obviously it's the terrain deformation in max is completely different than reflex so you can't really directly correlate it like that right you can't build a track exactly like you would in reflex or you're gonna be like flat track vibing you know especially on some of the uh, those like first two or three tracks on reflex very flat tracky not the sand tracks obviously because they still have a lot of pre-made roughness and ruts and stuff on them but um yeah i know there's definitely some tracks on reflex that can get more like that where they're kind of smooth vibe but overall i mean definitely cool to see this definitely cool to see different people try to make different renditions of different uh, other arcade motocross game replicas into a simulator um cool to see it all but I, just, I don't think anybody's really, like, full-blown nailed it yet. You know what I'm saying? Including me with the two Reflex Replica tracks I've made. I don't even think I really nailed it. I don't think the dude that made those MX vs. ATV um, Alive tracks on MX Simulator really nailed it. And even this track, I don't think he really, like, nailed it, like, knocked her out of the ballpark. You know what I mean? I mean, it's okay, and a lot of the sections feel really good, and, like, you know, the, some of the corners and stuff match up quite a bit to the, the actual reflex track, but there's just something about it that's just still off. It doesn't give me enough of the feeling of that actual track, whether it be the decal coloration, the off-track objects, the overall, uh, like, little bit bigger scaling that I might would have thought this track would have had. Just little little nitpicky things. Now, this jump right here, um, you can actually sky this all the way out and jump it plumb into the first roller right here, which you can actually do that. That's a pretty massive huck on the, the Reflex game itself. So that was cool to see that you could still hit a monster line like that, and it's pretty much the same kind of line that you would actually hit in Reflex on this track. That was cool to see, but um, yeah, just this whole area down through here, it's literally like, 
damn, man, where's all the objects at? I mean, I know it'd probably be hard to make that exact sort of object uh, on MX Simulator because there's I don't think there even really is an object exactly like that double overhang type vibe thing that's on Reflex, but I feel like you probably could have come up with something better than just nothing. <laughs> that's kind of my, you know, my point here. Um... But I don't know. This is that cool little like double lead table toppy vibe thing. You got to jump pretty good. Then you got obviously the little whoop, whoop rollers right through here. And then you swing up the inside, double inside. Then you got these pretty cool how you did this right here. Because I know this is how it is in, in the actual reflex game. Where it's kind of got like whoop rollers right here. But they're like different heights on the widths. Almost kind of just like random roller roughness type vibe through here. Kind of cool how you capture that a little bit. But yeah, I mean just... Not god awful, but not knocking her out of the park either. We're somewhere, somewhere in the middle here. Um, if I had to give it a rating overall, probably give it somewhere like a, maybe like a seven. And just letting you know, I knocked off a point for putting that exclamation point, so technically probably more like an eight, right? But I've got to give it a seven. <laughs> People are gonna have to stop doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? That exclamation point in front of the title, um, literally like everybody's going to start doing that and then everybody's title is going to be exclamation points and then nobody's title will be at the top then we'll be back at square one you know what i'm saying <laughs> everybody's title see they do that because it's like al alphabetical order right whenever you go to the actual track list so when you put an exclamation point it automatically puts your track at the top of the list whenever people go people go and download that and that is so annoying to me it's like it's like they're basically playing the system right you don't actually want that exclamation point in front of the title of your track, dog. <laughs> you don't actually want those parentheses in front of the title of your track. Y you know you're doing some fuck shit. We all know what you're doing, and you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And it, you're you're basically skipping in line in a way, right? Like it, it should. You're you're killing the whole actual alphabetical order aspect of the track list. And I just don't like when people do that kind of stuff, man. I don't know. It's just, it's like, why, why do you feel the need to do that, dog? <laughs> there's no, there's no real reason in it. So either way, seven overall difficulty, probably looking at medium, especially if you're hitting some of the bigger hooks, but pretty, I mean, it's not that, it, I would say it's more in the category between like easy and medium versus like a solid medium when it comes to difficulty. But, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's good in some ways, not as good in other ways, but I mean, just overall going to put her about a seven cool to see it i mean definitely shout out to you deco for trying to come in here and attempt to do it i love to see it but um just think you might have been off on just a couple little things here and there and if you would have put a little bit more effort into the off-track objects and stuff like that i think you could have got her more to the actual vibe and feeling of that track and reflex so just off by a couple ticks that's that's really all there is to it but uh still a fun track to hop on obviously got a little bit more of that uh sandy traction vibe filling which i think it actually has more of a hard pack filling on reflex but that he he made it a little bit more frictiony i guess he was trying to make it to where he could have the scaling and you wouldn't get too much speed like for instance over here on this whole section when you jump this jump and then you go down through here if this was like a super low friction track You'd get to haul an ass going 69 miles an hour through here, and you would completely like triple some shit down through here. You know, it would kind of mess up the way you hit it on reflex in a way if he if he made it like hard pack, no friction, right? So I, I can see why he did that, but um, yeah, I don't know. Just like even these jumps right through here, I just think they could have been just you know 10, 15 percent bigger as far as the height of them and and also as far as the distance of them down through here and even this corner i just feel like it could be just 10 15 percent more of a sweep you know what i'm saying um 10 15 percent more length on this straightaway before you hit this corner it just feels 10 to 15 percent too cramped down all the way around the entire track in my opinion um so that's just kind of from a dude that's rode 10 million laps on reflex you know that's that's kind of my my personal interpretation of it here so either way um shout out to you for making it uh for sure but i would have loved to have seen more effort put in some areas and seen what that felt like it's a good base of a you know reflex replica track just not quite not quite where i wanted it to be um I don't know what some of you guys have been doing with your skyboxes, but you need to get your shit together. Come on, guys.
What is this? We literally have Minecraft cubes in the air now. Like, <laughs> you've got to fix your up skybox, people. That, that, to me, almost looks like he just doesn't have it in the right rotation. Like, that corner should be over there, and then that light corner should be over there. You know what I mean? Like, he's got his north, south, uh, east, and west in the wrong positions, and it's making his up be in the wrong rotation. You understand what I'm saying? You got to make all that link together, dude. <laughs> You're obviously off somewhere here because I'm seeing boxes. Um, definitely kills some of the realism when you get that on a track on MXM, but holy God, Skyview, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Don't worry. We're just a drone right now, dog. So either way, dudes, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Another track review here for you guys. Uh, appreciate all the support. If you guys want to go see any of my other track reviews, um, I have a playlist for that on my front page, and uh, that includes all of my track reviews, like MX Force ADV Reflex track reviews, Untamed track reviews, Simulator track reviews, all those games put into one there. So, yeah, man, either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.